Hey, welcome to the Foodies Paradise. Today we're going to learn how to make some soft and scrumptious set dosas. Now, if you've been to a South Indian restaurant, you know that dosas come in many different forms and shapes. What we're going to make today is a soft and fluffy dosa. Now, it's called a set dosa because it is served as a set of three. No brainer, right? Okay, enough talks. Watch this cool intro and then we'll get down to business. See you on the other side. All right, let's start. So the first thing you need to do to make awesome dosas is make the batter. You need three cups of uncooked rice, one cup of cooked rice, one cup of white lentils, which is nothing but urad dal, one tablespoon of fenugreek seeds, which is optional. Some people add fenugreek seeds while making the batter. I personally do not prefer that because I'm not, I do not like the flavor it brings. But if you want, you can totally do that. It's optional. Soak the uncooked rice, white lentils and the fenugreek seeds for about 6 to 7 hours. Now that our ingredients have been soaking for about 7 hours, it's time to transfer them into the mixer. Or if you have a wet grinder, you can also use that. But remember, use the wet grinder only in case you're making the batter in large quantities. If you're making it only for three to four people, it doesn't make sense to grind the ingredients in a wet grinder. A mixer would be a much easier option, but again, the output of a wet grinder is much softer and tastier as compared to a mixer. In the end, the choice is yours. Cooked rice is added while making the batter to make the dosa softer. Just in case you do not have cooked rice, you can use rice flakes or poha in its place. Don't forget to soak the rice flakes for about 10 to 15 minutes. The amount of water needed is subjective. You add water while grinding if you feel that the blades are not rotating as fast as they should. You can see here that the mixer is set at top speed, but still the blades are not able to rotate because we've not added any water yet. Look at how easily the blades are rotating now that we have added water into the mix. Just add a little bit at a time. We do not want the batter to be too thick or too runny. You can also add water after the fermentation process if you think that the batter is too thick. Don't worry about the amount of water needed. After you've made a couple of dosas, you will know if you need to add more water. Here I'm trying to give you an idea of the consistency of the batter. Like I said earlier, the batter should not be too thick or too runny. Now that the batter is ready, it needs to ferment before it can be used to make dosas. For that, you need to transfer the batter from the grinder to a container which can hold twice the amount of batter we've prepared. This is because as the batter ferments, it rises and may spill over if the container is not large enough. During the summers, the fermentation process speeds up and your batter could be ready in 6 to 7 hours. In winters, it could take anywhere between 7 to 8 hours or more for the batter to rise. It is advisable to keep the batter in a warm place like near the stove or in the oven during the winters. Okay, now our batter has properly fermented. Luckily, there is no spillage. Look at how it's bubbling up. This indicates that our dosas are going to be super soft and spongy. Time to add salt and give our batter a good final stir so that the salt gets mixed evenly. Now we are ready to make some super soft delicious dosas. You can use a cast iron tawa or a non-stick tawa, both are equally good. Heat the tawa on a medium to high flame. Once the tawa is hot enough, grease it with a few drops of oil of your choice. Or you can also grease it with ghee. I'm not doing that because I'm using a non-stick tawa. Pour a ladle full of batter at the center of the dosa tawa and gently spread it in a circular motion. Once 
Once the dosa is set, drizzle a few drops of ghee or butter. This will not only enhance the taste of the dosa but will also prevent it from sticking onto the pan. Flip the dosa and let the other side cook as well. Repeat the process to make more dosas. Congratulations, now you know how to make spongy soft set dosas. I'm sure you would still have some doubts. To get answers to your doubts, check the description below or let us know in the comments. We would love to know how you find this recipe.